to write beautiful kanjis in the boxes, we have to leave relatively equal margins on the four sides. For the horizontal strokes, we have to write from left to right. For vertical strokes, we have to write from top to bottom. If there are horizontal and vertical strokes, we have to write the horizontal first, followed by the vertical. For symmetrical characters, we have to write the middle part first, followed by the left part and the right part. And the sequence of writing the box is the left stroke first, followed by a fold, and then you close the box. And for kanji with small little pieces, we tend to add them as the last stroke. So now after knowing the rules, let's write the most common components of the kanjis. The first one is just three dots. Remember the sequence? It's always left to right and top to bottom, just like the shape of three water drops. And this means the water. Let's look at an example using this. This character or this kanji means life or lively, just like seigatsu. The katsu in seikatsu. And the sequence is always left to right and top to bottom. And when you draw the box, remember it's only three strokes. The next common component is the box, which means the mouth. Kuchi. So remember we have only three strokes. The second one is a fold. The shape is just like an open mouth. An example kanji is namai na. It's our name. So left to right. And the box. It means name. Na. The next common component is symmetrical. So we have to draw the cross first and followed by the left stroke and right stroke. And this means the tree or wood. Ki. When it's used as a radical, sometimes it's on the left. And this indicates it's a kind of a tree. And this is our sakura, cherry blossom tree. The next common component looks like two legs. These this means the person or people. Hito. It changes shape from kanji hito. An example kanji is this part, the person, and plus our tree. You remember the sequence from left to right, top to bottom. If it's symmetrical, we have to draw the middle part first. A person leaning on the tree is to rest. Kyujizu, yasumu. The sequence of the next one is to draw the shorter stroke first and then followed by the vertical one and then another shorter one and this means the te hand this is an example kanji normally it appears on the left and write the left part first followed by the right part and this means to pay we use our hand to pay next is from top to bottom a dot followed by a longer stroke, two shorter strokes, and a box. And don't forget the box has a fold and only three strokes. This means word, to say, or language. This is an example. It is used as a radical on the left, and the red part is written by three parts, top, middle, and bottom. Be careful about the top to bottom, left to right rule. This means to read, yomu. Of course, we need words to read. The next component, we have two slanted strokes. Be careful of that. Does it look like a spool of thread to you? It is the thread. Here is an example. 
when it is used as a left radical, it appears to be a lot slimmer. Be careful of the strokes. No matter how many strokes you have, you still follow the same rules. From left to right and top to bottom. And this word means the cotton. Watta. The next component have three strokes, horizontal one followed by two vertical shorter ones. And this means the grass. It looks like a grass, right? This radical normally appears on top. And if you write a person in the middle and followed by a tree, keep person being in harmony with the nature, that is also a kind of lifestyle. This character means the tea. Ocha. Cha. The next component, we have to draw an open box, put in something, and then close the box. And this means the sun or the day. Nichi. Hi. An example is we write it on the left hand side, make it smaller and slimmer, and write the moon on the right. So the sun with the moon together is bright. The next component, which are a shorter horizontal stroke, a vertical one, and followed by a longer horizontal one, this means the ground or earth. The example kanji is to put it on the left hand side and make it a radical. And this means the land. 